So welcome back to another Cam Instructor video here. And I know things are looking a little bit different and uh, that's because it's Master Cam 2022 in the, uh, the background there, right? Uh, yeah, so sporting a little bit of different uh, look this time as well. We are we are in lockdown 3.0 up here in uh, the Great White North. Uh, so which ultimately means uh, hairdressers are closed. So last year I went the route of just letting everything grow. And this year I've gone the opposite and gone more aerodynamic and got everything very, very short. <laughs> so stick with me. And uh, what we're talking about today, uh, often I struggle with, with topics to cover in, in videos for Mastercam, trying to keep things new and fresh and uh, uh, informative. So I came across a posting in a forum, uh, practicalmachinist.com, and it's talking about how can you translate entities with varying values between the translates uh, without having to manually do one by one? So normally in translate, when we offset an entity, it will offset by a specific amount between each one. So the question was, how do I increment this spacing by uh, basically a 64th for each hole? Uh, so I'm going to go through some options for that. We'll look at doing a script and we'll also look at using Excel and a CSV file and importing that directly into Mastercam. Okay, so before we get going, let's have a look at this problem here, just so we know what we're doing as we dive into this. Let's read through this one more time here. Uh, so first up, we want to do 100 holes, so that's why we're not wanting to do this one hole at a time. Um, I've said this before in some other videos, uh, the best machinist or best programmer is a lazy programmer. So not lazy in the fact that you don't want to do the work, lazy in the fact that you want to find an easier way to do something. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're doing this one by one. Yeah, you can do it, but... There's easier ways, and that's what we're looking at today. Okay, so 100 holes. Each hole needs to be 0 0.0156 further than the last. So, for example, the first hole spacing would be half inch. Exactly. The next one would be 0 0.5156. The next 0 0.5312, etc. So, let's just sketch this out, and we'll have a look at what it is we should be getting in our results. So, uh, we'll go through the first example. So, we'll have two holes. And in between those first two, the spacing should be half of an inch. Uh, the next hole, the spacing is going to be a little bit further. Okay, so this one is supposed to be five, one, five, six. So each hole, we're moving over an additional 0.156. That's roughly uh, it's roughly a 164th offset. So that's I think where that value is coming from. So if we look at these as far as positions go, so this could be at you know x zero. This one would obviously be at x. 0.5. Uh, this next hole over here, again, we're already at 0.5 and we're adding this distance to it. This one would be at one inch and uh, 15, uh, 0.6 thou, um, et cetera, et cetera, uh, 100 times. Okay. So, um, yeah, we could do this with a normal translate and just move a hole grab that resulting geometry, move it again. But again, that's a lot of work to do one by one. So let's go ahead and look at some other options that we can use to do this much more easily. Uh, options being uh, a CSV file import and a script. So let's look at CSV file import first. Okay, so CSV file import. What is, you know, first, what is a CSV file and, and how do we open it? So if we go to the file open menu here, so just click on open. Uh, the pull down in the lower right hand corner, there is a list of all the files Mastercam can open. And... Part way down, you're going to see ASCII files, star.txt, star.csv. So the CSV is what we're actually going to be importing. And this is the file type we would have to be looking for to allow this import to happen. So I'm not going to import it yet because I have not made anything. So how do you go about making a CSV file? What is a CSV file? CSV stands for comma separated values. And we can create these. You can create it in a normal text editor, in notepad, whatever. Uh, but most commonly, you'll make it in some sort of... Uh, spreadsheet uh, software uh, like Excel. You could use uh, Google Sheets as well, I believe, but uh, I'm going to use Excel. So basically, all you're going to do here is populate three fields, A, B, and C, uh, with the coordinates for X, Y, and Z. So if I type in 0, 0, and 0, uh, this would create a point at um, position 0. So let me just show this. I'll go ahead and save this file. So I'm going to save this as a uh, test offsetting. And from the pull down here, I obviously need to make sure that I select a CSV file type. I'll click Save. And let's just go into Mastercam right now. I'll do an Open. And I'll go and open that 
file I just created. Again, I have to make sure that I'm allowing this to look for ASCII type files. Test offsetting. And in the options here, we can we can tell MashCam how to bring this in. Does, is this creating lines? Is it creating points? Is it creating a spline? Uh, I'm creating points, so I'm just going to green check on this and hit open. And there's a point. I'm going to click on F4. And as you can see, this point is at 0, 0, 0. So I don't want to make this about how to use Excel and how to use different formulas. So I'm really just going to power through this kind of quick and just, you know, lightly explain what I'm doing. Uh, but just know that, yeah, there's many different ways to go about doing this in Excel. And this is not the right way or the wrong way. It's just a way. So basically what we need to do here is increment each field after this first one uh, by an additional 15.6 thou. So what we can do here, the basic formula is going to be we're taking this half of an inch and we're adding this 15.6 thou to it. But every time we go down a row, we're adding another 15.6 thou to it. So you can say that every time we go down a row, we're multiplying it by the row number. So a, a little formula for this in Excel is I can do multiplied by row, and I can return a row number. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do here. I got a mistake there. So in brackets, I'm doing a half inch plus 15.56 times the row number. So row one is 15.6 times one, row two is 15.6 times two, etc. So there you can see the first spacing. Basically what I'm doing over here is just generating the spaces between each hole. So now I can take these spaces and I can add it to my original source value here. So in row number three, I'm gonna do an equals, I'm gonna say A2 and then add to it the spacing calculation that I made over here. Okay, so it seems overly complicated. But in all honesty, as far as doing this quickly versus manually moving this in MashCam, this is way simpler. So you can see just by dragging this down here, I'm getting all the appropriate values for uh, each hole space. I'm only doing 28 holes here, and that's, I think, enough to, to, do the, or to make the point here. Um, I could extend these out to 100, and we would get all 100 holes. Uh, but I need to output this into CSV, and I don't want these numbers over here. So I'm just going to copy this. Stuff, make a new sheet, uh, paste it over here, and make sure I paste the values. So now when I do a save as, so this prompt here is the basic difference between an Excel file and a CSV file is that only the visible sheet gets saved in CSV. You can't save multiple sheets. So all that uh, calculations I did on sheet one is not going to come through in my, my point cloud here. So that's actually a good thing. So I'm clicking OK. And let's go ahead again and reopen this file. Uh, I'm not saving that, so yeah, this will be my new file. And there's my new points. And we can come in and do a quick little drafting here. Let's go to four decimal places. Let's make this a little bit smaller so it fits. Four. Okay, so this first hole, half inch spacing, next hole. 5156, five, uh, come on, stick there, stick with my four. I need to do it mid, uh, mid dimension here to get it to stick, there we go. So you're seeing each time we're getting that step. Okay, so these are the exact same X locations we saw in the, in the uh, Excel document, so I don't need to go through them all. So they are getting spaced out bit by bit, uh, varying dimension across each. So a CSV file is one solution to doing a problem like this. So once you're comfortable in using CSV files and using Excel, this is a much faster um, result than offsetting one by one. So when we're talking 100 holes here, we're talking a lot of work to do this one at a time. Uh, other options, scripting. So we can talk about scripting. So we talk about scripting. So one thing we need to keep in mind here, let me bring this sheet over for a second. This is the What's New document for 2022. And down at the bottom of this page here, we can see that VB scripting and the VB script manager uh, they're still present in MashCam 2022, uh, but they will not be included in 2023, available upon request, and eventually completely killed uh, for 2024. Uh, they are being replaced with net scripting, so things are a little bit different. I have not dabbled with the dot .NET scripting function just yet. So if you're watching this video in three years from now, unfortunately, this will no longer work. So to even get to the VB scripting, we have to do a command finder because it's not on your toolbars. And I'm going to type in VB, and there's the VB script right there. And to do this, we need to go and click on new because we're going to make a new VB script. Now with the VB scripting, um, 
again, I don't want to make this about how to do VB scripting, talk about a bunch of different parameters, but it's just a way to programmatically uh, make points in Mastercam. And with the program functionality, we can, um, as we're looping through each point, we can adjust spacing much easier than we obviously could with transform. So as we go through this, I'm just going to basically populate, start populating this uh, script with some variables, not going too deep into it. Basically, I'm just uh, going to dim out a couple of variables here, position and point. These are just, you know, things I happen to be choosing as names. They, they, they don't represent anything quite yet. And I'll do a couple other things here for our loop. So I'll, I'll dim a counter for our loop. And since we're starting with an initial value and we're applying a shift to that value, uh, not short, a, sh a shift. A couple more parameters or a couple more variables there to uh, help with our point creation. So to basically do this in a script, what I'm going to do here is start a loop and it wants to dim the counter for me, which I don't need it to do. So basically I'm just going to count from 1 to 100 and each time I go through this loop, uh, I'm going to make a new, a new point. So I'm going to set my position. And this is going to equal a new master cam point. Okay. And then each point we're going to basically define uh, where it is. So we already know each point is going to have a zero for Y and a zero for Z. The thing that's going to be adjusting here is our X value. So our X value here is going to take, uh, basically these parameters are defined before. It's going to take our X value and it's going to apply our X shift. Again, this is just, um, this is not the right way or the wrong way. This is just a way to go about changing these values. Okay, so once we've defined the point location for this point, we'll go ahead and create it. So this line of code basically makes this point at this position on the current level at the current color. So once we've made that point at that location, this is where we want to start looping our values for location. So I'm going to set my S shift to be the current value for the X shift plus our offset value of 15, 6. And then our X value is going to be our X value plus our X shift. Okay, just a couple more things here. We need to set some initial values for these to start with. So X value equals zero, X shift equals half inch. Okay, so again, I didn't want to go ahead and uh, explain a whole bunch of the stuff that's going on here. I just wanted to basically demonstrate the fact that we can use a script to create these points. I'm gonna go ahead and save this out. I'm giving this the same name, test offsetting dot VBS. So I'll click save and I'll go ahead and close this scripting manager down. And we can go ahead and run that now through the same VB script manager. Let's go and select the file I just made, test offsetting, open, and let's click on run. And we'll again, there's our resulting points. Let's go ahead and start doing some dimensioning here to see what we have for spacing. So there's our 531. The 5468. And you can see each one is incrementing. So there's just two different ways to do a, what it would be otherwise not possible inside of a generic Mastercam function, uh, transform. Uh, different ways that we can manipulate our resulting geometries.